It's Oakland University's newest, loudest, and most majestic addition, the Elliott Bell Tower, and it rains mighty over this ever-growing college campus. Standing at 151 feet tall with over 77 stairs and 49 carillon bells, this beauty is seen and heard throughout Oakland University and its surrounding community. Oakland's on the up and up and I think this is just kind of one of those trademark symbols that you know you can see it from so far down the road and you know from Auburn Hills and like from our organic farm that's all the way across campus like you can see it over the tree line and I think just having that kind of on the horizon does um, really kind of put us up there that you know it's that symbol now we have something that's our center of campus that it's like it's our trademark. I think it really adds more of a, um, a bigger uh, a bigger awareness as this is being a university. Um, having a clock tower does, does make a big uh, impression as a lot of people coming into school here. Thanks to a large and very generous donation from the Elliott family, Oakland University now joins the University of Michigan, Michigan State, and Grand Valley State and is the fourth Michigan University to have a Carillon bell tower. The carillon is an old world instrument and historically the Carillon bell tower has been a point of civic pride. The instrument we have today that's played from a keyboard that with at least 23 bells is, uh, is 500 years old. So it's, it's, it's an old instrument, um, but it can play any music, old world music or very modern music. Right next to the bell tower, you will find a custom-made water fountain that was designed by WET, a California-based company that designs high-end water fountains, including the Bellagio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas and the fountains at the Sochi Winter Olympics. A dedication ceremony was held at Oakland University this afternoon to honor longtime supporters Hugh and Nancy Elliott, and construction on the bell tower is expected to be completed late October. Reporting for Shelby This Week, I'm Katie Shimatero.